हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डाटा स्टोरेज आज एन आइडिया ऑफ रैम एंड रॉम लेट्स बिगिन इन कंप्यूटर द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर इन ऑर्डर टू इनपुटिंग स्टोरिंग प्रोसेसिंग आउटपुटिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग सो इन केस ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग द डाटा और इंफॉर्मेशन मस्ट बी स्टोर्ड टू स्टोर दिस डाटा एंड इंस्ट्रक्शंस देर विल बी ए रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ डाटा स्टोरेज यूनिट्स so data storage is the unit that keeps data and information for input output and intermediate processing as and when required by a computer the functions of that data storage unit it keeps the data and instructions for processing the input commands it enables the computer for processing during intermediate stages it holds final results of processing required for output release first input then processing then output the data required for all these uh, functions of uh, a basic computer is uh, stored within that of data storage unit a computer possesses two types of storage unit one is primary storage another one is secondary storage primary storage that is the main memory secondary storage that is the auxiliary storage in primary storage that stores program instructions data intermediate results of processing results of those jobs on which computer is currently working these instructions or data are stored in that of primary storage but in secondary storage that stores the program instructions data and information of those jobs on which computer is not working currently here the data instructions are stored at which the computer is currently working but at that of case that computer is not currently working these data instructions are stored in primary storage it is a volatile volatile in the sense it is lost as soon as the computer is switched off or reset therefore that uh, storage is known as volatile but it is permanent it is not volatile the information even when the computer is switched off or reset for the future processing that information is stored <coughs> primary storage is very expensive but the secondary storage much cheaper than that of primary storage it has usually limited storage capacity but secondary storage that supplements the limitation in storage capacity of primary storage if uh, the primary storage is fill up then secondary storage is helpful to maintain the function of primary storage it supplements the limitation to storage capacity of primary storage it is made up of semiconductor devices primary storage are made from semiconductor devices whereas secondary storage the stores information in magnetic disk these are the basic uh, difference in between primary storage and uh, secondary storage there are two types of storage unit we basically see 
in modern era computers. Next, idea of RAM and ROM. RAM, random access memory. There is a place in a computer where temporary data in current use are kept. So, this can be quickly reached by the processor and that place is known as random access memory place. So, random access memory is a form of data storage which stores frequently used program instructions to increase general speed of a system. We classify RAM, RAM is classified through two primary forms as DRAM Dynamic Random Access Memory it is Dynamic Random Access Memory Another type SRAM that is static random access memory. For dynamic random access memory, it requires constant power to hold onto this stored data. It requires constant power. to hold onto data. So, static random access memory they does not need the does not need constant power. to hold onto data. But uh, SRAM static random access memory are much larger and much expensive. They are much larger and expensive. And the function of SRAM is significantly faster than DRAM. Its the function is significantly faster than DRAM. As we compare the function between dynamic random access memory and the static random access memory, so static random access memory has much more faster as comparison to that of DRAM.
and again SRAM static random access memory is mainly used in small amounts as cache memory. It uses small amount in cache memory. Cache memory. So these are some basic difference in between dynamic random access memory and static random access memory. Here is the types of RAM two primary types. Next read only memory ROM. Read only memory is a, a type of memory in which data are permanently written during fabrication and the data can only be read from that of cells not written to. So, the ROM is the built in computer memory when computer is built at the time RON is fabricated and it contains data that can be read only not write. The programming that uh, allows a computer to boot up when turned on is contained in ROM segment. The basic uh, data requirements to the computer to open boot reset like this basic uh, information are stored in that of read only memory. It is uh, not lost when the computer power is turned off, but random access memory will be lost when the computer is turned off. Here, the read only memory is under uh, the category of non volatile memory, but random access memory is volatile. When computer is turned off, that data will be lost. But in case of ROM, read only memory, this is not volatile in the sense when the computer is turned off, the data will be remain. So, not written to that point means we cannot reprogram the read only memory, but in modern technology the data stored in that of uh, read only memory be modified slowly with difficulty, but uh, not all the data very minor data is uh, written. So, in that of uh, category, we classify that uh, read only memory ROM that uh, data on that of basis of written or reprogrammed that is E P ROM erasable programmable read only mem memory erasable programmable read only memory another one E E P ROM that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory electrically erasable programmable read only memory. This two type of memories here uh, the data can be erased 
or reprogrammed not uh, overall but to some extent therefore this can be done at uh, relatively slow speeds it requires uh, special equipment for that purpose and writing to that of rom in such cases is possible for a certain number of times example of that kind of rom here we take example where we can write in that of rom as flash memory flash memory is a type of rom which can be erased and rewritten faster than ordinary ee pram electrically erasable programmable read only memory flash memory this is that kind of rom which is uh, easy to erased or uh, rewrite as comparison to that of eep rom in this way we study about random access memory its type read only memory and some types so with the help of this video lecture you understand the concept of data storage functions of data storage unit types of data storage primary storage and secondary storage some basic difference in between these two storage units idea of random access memory ram its type functions read only memory its type on the basis of its retainable condition example so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you